Hey, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel in the No Tarot 1122. All right, Scorpio, let's see what we got going on for you, my love. This will not resonate with everyone, so take what fits and leave the rest, okay? All right, let's see. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, look in the description box for the link to my website. All right, let's see. We have waiting for... <clears throat> excuse me, waiting for news, package or letter, arrow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. For some of you, you might be waiting for news about a job or something like that. All right, control your anger or you will be sorry. Okay. And for whatever reason, this is actually landing on... Uh, waiting for news, package, or letter. So some of you might get some correspondence from somebody that uh, you may not like. This could actually have to do with money here with the lobster, financial pinch. All right, you have recognition and reward for marriage. So whatever financial issue you're going through, this will possibly only be for a little while, okay? All right, chain of events that will affect your life, new job or career, I told you. Okay, so definitely getting some messages about a new job here that's actually going to open some new doors for you, okay? So, someone here may have someone or a job that they are depending on and they might find out that that uh, position is no longer available or someone is no longer um, assisting you with something, okay? Kind of just leaving you hanging, but that's okay. No worries. Because if they're doing this intentionally because, you know, they have an issue with you or something like this, this person will get karma back for that. And they're going to watch you excel anyway. If this is something that is just happening, by the way, um, don't fret, don't fight it. You know what I mean? Just do what you got to do, okay? Make sure that you're saving your pinnacles right now as well. But I do believe that... Uh, there's something much better coming for you. All right, let's see. All right, so we have obstacles to overcome. We already see this, and I think it's financial. All right, so opportunities waiting for you. So doors are opening for you. I already told you that. All right, you need to defend. Blah, 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 blah. You need to defend yourself here. Okay, so. Um, like this is saying here, control your anger, okay? So something may be coming down, a tower moment, something that you are not expecting. There may be some travel here, a short journey. Um, getting here, somebody may unexpectedly move. Okay. All right, anyway, moving on. Give me messages about, let's see, why does Scorpio need to defend themselves? Scorpio. For whatever reason, you have someone that's reaching out to you, someone that you may be at a distance um, from, honestly. Yeah, this may be someone that betrayed you in the past or um, something may be coming down the line on a job, okay? Somebody may be trying to get you pushed out the door. If this is not a job, this is a relationship, and someone may be trying to come back towards you here, all right? But Source may have stepped in here to protect you from this person or what this person had intended for you. So what someone intends for your downfall is actually going to end up being your stepping stone for an elevation. Let's see. Yep. Okay, so like I said, we have someone here that's trying to cause some upheaval in your life, some confusion, some drama. 
possibly because you got a new start here. You got some blessings coming for you. You got a lot of good things coming for you as well. And it's also because you decided to walk away from a situation, a job, a person, or something and do your own thing. And someone here is not happy about that for you because you may have literally taken a break from them and really started assessing your relationship with them and finding out that that was not the best thing for you. So you moved away and all of a sudden now that you're doing something different, you have new beginnings happening for you. Some of you got new relationships coming for you as well. And this person may be seeing all these new beginnings in your life. Also, um, Scorpio, you may be realizing that you were linked with somebody that did not have your best uh, interest at heart, okay? So it looks like you're moving on from this situation and manifesting the life that you want. Things are coming together for you, and somebody may be a little bit peeved, all right? So let's see. Yeah, what did I tell you? You got somebody that is... Possibly slandering your name, lies. Somebody is really trying to sabotage you here. And this could be, ooh, this is somebody that is, you got somebody that's intentionally watching everything that you do here. Please don't tell me this is somebody that you were messing around with on the job and now they're, they're, they're a little ticked. They're a little peeved, a little irritated, a little annoyed. But they can't stop watching you, though, day in and day out, okay? So you got somebody pretty pressed here. This could be somebody on a job, or this could just be somebody um, that you were in a relationship with that's trying to figure out how to get back at you or come back towards you after some BS. But I'm going to tell you something. This person doesn't have good intentions. They're trying to get you stuck in the same scenario, okay? Repeat cycles. Somebody has not changed, okay? They haven't changed. There's no regret here. You may be regretting dealing with this person and may have closed out the cycle and moved on. Yes, your life is looking peachy. <laughs> peachy keen, I must say, but someone here isn't feeling this way. Someone here is trying to paint a negative picture of you. Let's see. All right, I'm telling you now, this person is going to come in and try to woo you, okay? They're going to come in and try to sweet talk you. Um, all this oof, intense conversation that they're coming in, they're coming in trying to heal this connection. Someone here may come in, like I said, a lot of intense communication coming in, okay? This person is coming in with emotion here a little bit, but more passion than emotion here. And they're going to try to seduce you to try to get this back together. This ain't love, baby. This is lust. Okay, so somebody has ulterior motives. They're often very little here. So you might want to look at this situation. All right, again, resurrect. Yeah, like I said. So you need to protect yourself here because somebody here... They're doing something behind the scenes. Don't allow this person to shake your emotions. Even if um, when they find out they can't get what they want, they may try to do something to trigger you. Why control your anger? Whew. Because the devil is going to try to tempt you to react. Like I said, hold, hold your pieces. Hold your peace, right? Yes, don't do it. Don't do it. Mm-mm. This is what this person is trying to do. They're trying to trigger you to react. Don't do it. You know who you are. Stay classy. All right. No need to get sassy. All right. You can show this person better than you can tell them. Your cutoff game is pretty strong. Do what you got to do and keep it pushing. Okay. Let this person act away. Let them show you exactly who they are, especially if this person is getting petty too. You're just, you know, this person is just proving their point. Okay. Proving your point, I should say. Showing you exactly who they are. Get thee behind me, okay? 
I can do better without you. Absolutely. Start over. All right. You may have to start from ground zero. Go ahead and build your foundation, but you're building a solid foundation without this person's input or um, assistance. And I think that's one of the things that's really ticking this person off as well because they have no control, no say so. Let's see. So don't allow this person's negative energy to get you to react. All right, someone here, like I said, someone here may try to come in and sweet talk you, try to get you back into a connection, offer stability here, but it's not stable. <laughs> Pretty much, it's not stable. Once that flame dies down, what do you have left? Okay, so let's see, what are these opportunities? Give me messages about this new job, new opportunities, recognition and reward for merit. <clears throat> there it is, King of Pentacles. Go ahead and manifest your behind all. Manifest the life that you want. Absolutely. Turn that ending into a beautiful beginning. Absolutely. Be patient with yourself. Patient with the process. Patient with Source. Watch Source go ahead and open some doors for you. You just do the work. Do the work. All right? Pay attention to those red flags. Ignore them. Don't ignore them to the point to where you're like oblivious and stuff is just going on. What I mean by... Um, the people that are coming in with the red flags, don't give them your time and attention. Stay aware of what's going on and keep these people at bay, okay? You got business to take care of. Absolutely. And another thing, you got something coming for you, sweetheart. The king of pentacles here, you have, ooh, you might have, if you're a feminine energy here, you might have more than one person coming in here, okay? Also, for a masculine here, this could also be masculine or feminine, but somebody here is getting ready to level up from the King of Pentacles to the Emperor. All right, taking care of business. And this is just a process. So if you're doing your own business, keep doing what you're doing. You're getting ready to level up and you're getting ready to meet your match. The King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. Absolutely. And somebody here might need to learn how to save. Just saying, but I like this. This past person is a no for me. Absolutely, yes, 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 yes. Look at this. You fight tooth and nail to get what it is that you need. Okay. Someone here. Eventually, down the line, I think it's this other person. Yeah, it's coming in with the effery. Yes. Okay. So, I don't know why people do this. Once they see that you've moved on to someone else, here they come with the shenanigans again, okay? So, there's somebody here that feels like they have total control over your emotions. All they got to do is sprinkle a little bit of this on it, put a little bit of that on it, and do a little this and do a little that, and you'll, you know, you'll um, cave in. But this person sees that, you're involved with somebody else or sees they're going to see somebody else's in the picture hmm. <laughs> they're also going to see that the road has ended for them okay your pavement has ran out sir ma'am all right let's see Yep, you have moved on. Uh, <laughs> Scorpio has left the building, y'all. All right, on to bigger and better things. Absolutely, happiness, abundance, uh, joy. You understand? Mm, peace. All right. Somebody that's expressive, too. Somebody that's compatible with your life. Harmony. All right, so I like this for you, Scorpio. Do what's best for you, sweetheart. <clears throat> Just be mindful of past people coming back or people that you may be dealing with already. Um, be mindful of what's going on on the job. You might have some people that are sneaking around looking at what you're doing. Um, not being funny, but your name be, you know, may be whispered in rooms that you are not even standing in, sweetheart. And um, you might have a couple of green-eyed monsters that are hearing your name mentioned just a little bit too much, and they might be a little bit annoyed. But like I always say, what is for you is for you. What God has for you, no man can take from you, okay? We can F it up by aligning, our, aligning ourselves with people we're not equally yoked with 
and doing stuff we know we ain't got no business so be careful of your decisions don't let anybody take you out of your element keep your peace about yourself especially if it's somebody here that is supposed to be working with you helping you out or something like that allow that person to show you their character okay and you deal with that person accordingly okay now <clears throat> Please keep in mind, if someone is showing you that they don't have your back, they're not responsible, they're not loyal, you understand that they're not dependable, that's on you if you keep dealing with that person, okay? They are, they've already shown you who they are, so you deal with them accordingly. Like I said, you know, long-handled spoon, you feel me? Um, if you continue to deal with these people, guess what? You're going to get the same results or worse. So use your discernment, use your intuition, level up and do better. It doesn't mean that we don't have to deal with any of these people anymore. We just have to learn how to um, limit our interactions with them. Okay. Some of these people you have to deal with because you work with them. However, your personal relationships, you have total control over that. Okay, my loves. All right, so either way it goes, open your hands because you got some blessings coming. Keep doing what you're doing. Stay prayed up. Don't let anybody shake your faith or take you out of your element here. If they're not working with you, sweetheart, they're working against you, and that means that they need to exit stage left, okay? All right, y'all. Y'all take care, and hit the like button for your girl, okay? Bye.